Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you know you matter. If this is your first time, I'm Teresa. Thank you for stopping by. And if you are a return, thanks for joining me again. Um, so today we are going to do um, ruffles. flat sewing thing, sewing decorative papers and stuff, all for like, if you don't want bulk in your journals, but you want to add that flare of some paper ruffles, then this video is for you. We have some that I did on just so flat, you won't add much bulk at all. I did this for the, the tiny journals we're working on. I'm working on. I did some different decorative around the this tag and then I tried to do a decorative stitch on here. Yeah I didn't I don't like it. So when I'm doing my tags I'm going to stick to on on fabric I'm gonna stick on this. Because as you can see, like, you could see the little flowers a little bit and that adds a fun contrast to our pages. We also have some little tiny ruffle. You know, this one I used a different type of stitch I used on here and I really love how that turned out. So if you'd like to know how to do this, stick with me. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and think of subscribing. And let's get crafty. Hi, so the supplies you're going to need is a sewing machine or you can you can do this without one if you want, but um, it's a lot easier with. Um, I have, I don't even know what size, quarter inch little tiny strips of paper that we're going to make into and fabric and lace. So this one I'm just going to do straight with lace and a little decorative stitch which is probably going to be just a zig, simple zigzag. Okay, ruffles. We're going to be doing ruffles. So, and you'll need fabric and some lace if you want to do it this way. I am literally just going to do a little bit of this one. It's just going to be a zigzag with the lace on top of the fabric. And I do have a contrasting fabric thread so you can see it. This fabric is getting a little thicker. I am going to add some other decoration to it. Let's see what I can find. This cute little flower. Let's see how that will look. see it with this we'll have to do it on the other one let's just go back to zigzagging there we go Maybe this way. okay now that it is just the fabric itself I am going to do that, um, another like butterfly or decorative stitch or something like that on here. Oh look, the flower is still on there. Let's do that. Oh, that is so cute. 
Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's try that one. set that aside and now we're going to do paper so what i'm going to do with this paper is just do a simple um, little zigzag and i'm going to fold it before um i put it under here and we're going to do, I'm going to do a few like this, and then um, we are actually going to do something a little different. Now remember, when doing paper, you want your stitches to be, so you want your stitches further apart, because the closer they are, your paper will rip. This one we're going to do the same way. And now we're going to take these and do a decorative um, stitch on it. Let's do that one. They're, they're, it's just going to be a decorative zigzag type style stitch. Um, I don't want to do like a decorative decorative stitch because I don't know if I'll warp the paper. to switch this to a straight stitch and again I am making that straight oh I didn't realize you can do that how funny I'm making these st stitches a lot wider than what they would be
Okay, let's see what this will look like. We're gonna. So we are just about done. Oh, I kind of like how that looks. Um, thank you for joining me. And I really, really appreciate all of you. You matter so much. Um, and I will see you guys next time, right when I'm done.